Hello, my name is Kevin and today I'm going to tell you what's new in Directus 10.11, public user registration. The key new feature in this release is the introduction of public user registration. Once enabled in your project, you can register new users directly from the login screen of the Data Studio. There's also an option for verifying user emails, which sends the user an email with a link that they must click before being able to log in. And you can use Directus's powerful filtering system to create rules around which emails can be used. And of course, like everything in Directus, you can access this new feature via our new API endpoints for registering and verifying users. This is a super useful addition, removing hacky workarounds that many of you had to use until now. This also means that in use cases where your end users interact with Directus via the Data Studio, Directus can effectively function as your complete application. Behavior change for empty search results. This is both a fix and a potential breaking change, but if you use the search parameter and there are no results, we will now return no results before we would return all items. And this is of course important if you're using the search parameter in your applications. Community contributions. Thank you to all of our community members who contributed towards this release. Thank you for Florian for making sure that vList items are correctly displayed with thumbnails and for a small CSS variable fix in the search input. Thanks to Avout for updating the send method in mail service to better handle asynchronous calls. Thank you to Mingfei for also applying an earlier fix that we made to the edit data operation to the create data and update operations as well. Thank you to Gerard for adding the on update constraint to the relation service and to Vasmi for adding the autocomplete attribute to the two-factor authentication field. Thank you to Nico for adding support in configuring PM2 error log storage and Jonas for fixing an issue with the WYSIWYG interface that could cause some new links to behave unexpectedly. Finally, thanks to Miguel for adding a GraphQL singleton helper type for the SDK. And that's Directus 10.11. Thank you to everyone involved in putting it together. It's now available on NPM and Docker Hub, and we'll see you in the next release.